Hello and welcome to the 81st video in this series programming of Chess Engine in C. So we're going to continue adding in a little bit more to the evaluation before I let Vice play against TSCP again. And it's just very simple this video. We're going to add in the, the rook on open file, a rook on a semi-open file, and the queen on open and semi-open files as well. So that now that it's going to try and make something of the pawn structure, hopefully with passed pawns and isolated pawn penalties, we can also tell it what it needs to do with the rook and queen, sort of. So for the code to do this, I've got the constants redefined here. Rook open, rook semi-open, queen open and queen semi-open. I've given slightly lower values for the queen than the rook, obviously, because the queen also can be deployed elsewhere, more than a rook, I would say, for open files. And now we simply need to add the code in down here in the piece parts of the evaluation here and this again is where the bit boards with the pawns are going to provide a lot of help. So we simply need to do, and I've got the code pre-prepared because it's not, not, very, not very complicated, but we simply need to say if pawns bit board for both pawns colors together anded with the file mask of the current file we're on is zero, which is why we've got the not here, then we know we're on an open file because there are no pawns on that file so we increase the score by this. Otherwise we do exactly the same but just with the black pawn bit mask and if that's a zero then we know we're on a semi-open file because that means there are no opposing pawns on the file. And now I'm just pausing to think in my mind or is it no no so it's the other way around it's when we don't have any of our own pawns that it's a semi-open file so I'll just change that to white. And now we simply need to put exactly the same thing in for the black rook, except be careful to change this obviously to black and to flip the scores to the minus. And I've now added in a couple of piece loops already for the white queen and the black queen here. They're exactly the same code apart from changing the piece here as above. And now I'm quickly going to copy and paste in the code for black. First of all here, except now I'll be changing this obviously to Queen. And then I'll take the white as well here from the white Rook and put that in now also for the white Queen. And save. And that's all we actually need to do. And like I said, it proves really helpful when we have these bit boards here for the pawns. There's a lot of things we can do with the masks and we'll be doing later on as well in the evaluation. So now that's saved, all I need to do is run make and cross the fingers and now run vice and I've still got this handy mirror evaluation function with the mirror.epd in here so I'm just going to run the mirror, yes, and it's gone very quickly through all of the positions and is indeed evaluating that the evaluation is symmetrical which is good otherwise we're in a little bit of trouble. So that's actually already, after a very short amount of time, it for this video. I'm now going to run a, another 20 game match with TSCP at 1 minute plus 1. It's not statistically significant at all, but I'm going to watch the games and see if with these evaluation features it plays any better at all. And in the next video we've got one more sort of thing that's affecting the play quite seriously that we need to add to the evaluation and that's the king position. At the moment we don't have any square table for the king and we're going to add that in the next video and we need to add a couple in. We need to add one for when it's sort of in the middle game and the king needs to try and stay tucked away but it's essential for the strength of the program that in the end game the king comes into the middle of the board to assist. It becomes very powerful in the end game particularly when the queens are off and it needs to wander towards the middle of the board and this can make really the difference between winning and losing even if you material down if you get your king in the middle of the board first it can you can often convert to a win and I've noticed already in a couple of games that it arrived in an end game position in a level position but kept its king on the back rank and ended up getting squashed in the end game. So we'll be changing that bit of the evaluation also in probably the next video and then let's have a look and then we'll go back to the alpha beta search function and start adding some more things in to improve the search and make that a bit better. So thanks very much for watching. Comments, questions, criticisms, welcome as always on YouTube.